Good afternoon and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Jacob Reynolds. The Autothon Dance Marathon raised over $84,000 for children's hospitals this weekend. Citrus TV reporter Nick Papantonis has more at 6. In an effort to improve travel and commutes, the MTA is beginning a courtesy campaign. Posters encouraging riders to give up their seats for the elderly and disabled are being put up in tra trains and bus stations across New York. The campaign also aims to discourage taking up excess space with bags and other personal effects. Customs and Border Police in California have made the second largest border drug bust in U.S. history. Authorities say that when they searched the cargo bay of a mattress delivery truck, they found plastic packages of marijuana stacked floor to ceiling. Altogether, the cargo weighed almost 16 tons with an estimated street value of $19 million. Fellow protesters and loved ones are mourning the death of activist Boris Nemstov, who was killed on the eve of his rally against Russia's involvement in Ukraine. The victim's friends say this was a political assassination, adding that Nemstov planned to reveal strong evidence against Russian forces in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Kremlin claims this was a foreign attack meant to destabilize Russian politics. The protest leader was killed by a drive-by shooter using a Russian-made gun. Now let's go to Caroline Strange for a quick look at our weather. Well, Jake, if you're like one of the many people heading to the Dome tonight, it's going to be pretty chilly outside. Right now it's 23 degrees, although it feels closer to the single digits as winds are gusting anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour. Now for my full weather forecast of what to expect throughout the week, stay tuned for Citrus TV News Live at 6. Thank you, Caroline. That's it for your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Jacob Reynolds. Stay warm, Syracuse, and we'll see you at 6.